Hello to all you Pisces, welcome for your monthly horoscope of November 2018. And of course these are general horoscopes, so if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. If it does, the better. Um, first of all, this is happening quite a lot. And the thing that is most associated with um, Pisces is of course um, the aspect that we're going to have with Mercury. So Mercury is going retrograde in Sagittarius, it's going to clash with Neptune for a couple of days and it's going to do that in the future as well but that's for the other monthly horoscopes so what does, is it the bad thing it's not bad it's how we you like the, the 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 weather when it's raining that's not a bad thing it's just how we deal with it we we, we take an umbrella and we can go into that rain um so it is the same with this mercury neptune this is about communication information that is foggy but if there is a sign that can do well with that, it's you, Pisces. Uh, Pisces has that strength. Now, when things are going wrong all the way or foggy, or they just keep on swimming, they keep on swimming, and you know, they, they don't let it uh, let them affect it. Them, oh, my English, anyways. So, when is this? This is only between the 15th, 16th, 17th of November, and then it becomes to clear up. Where does this happen? It has to do for you, it has to do with a uh, career and, and if you're not working it has to do with how other people see you, your social status because the midheaven is actually a bit the second ascendant and it also has to do with you. So if you, around those time, around those days you're not clear about yourself, you're not clear how you want to um, appear towards others, it's perfectly fine. Because that clearance comes, especially after the 6th to 7th of December, when Mercury goes direct again. So if you're thinking about doing something new when it comes to work, fantastic. Use that time to explore, to think about it, to think it through, and to see it a bit, a bit broad, but stay with the feet on the ground, because this is in Sagittarius. And implement the newness, if you can, of course, uh, after um, you know that first week of December. So that's... The hardest part. Now let's talk about the good part which is of course also Jupiter in your 10th house. So Jupiter, Jupiter just entered the, the highest point of your horoscope and it's going to stay there a whole year and um, so it's about expansion. I mean Jupiter is all about expansion, it's about growth, it's why, where we find meaning. So if you haven't found meaning in your work, if you thought your work was nothing that you, you kind of liked, this, is, this has an opportunity to shift with Jupiter there. Um, I've seen it always with, with people who've got Jupiter transit in their 10th house that they travel more or they uh, get a promotion or they start teaching others or they start um, publishing something uh, or they are seen as some sort of a messenger because that's Jupiter as well, and especially in uh, Sagittarius. So whatever it is for you, there is growth coming when it comes to work. So especially when you're having a bit of a hard time there, when it comes to work. Again, after that, that 6th, 7th of December, uh, you will see more clearance there. And it is a good time then to, to make contracts, new contracts, uh, when it comes to work. So if you would be applying for something new. So that's that. It is expansion. It is also that um, your business could be growing if, if you have your own business. Um, you could be traveling more because of business. You could be working more with foreign people uh, or people with a different background and so forth. So this is great news. Another good thing is that the North Node shifts into a fellow water sign, which is Cancer. Um, and it's also in November and it'll stay there, you know, the whole of 2019 as well. And why is that so good? Because the fifth house is a very happy house. It's a house of our creation. It's a house of our heart chakra. And having the North Node there, because the North Node means where we need to focus on, you need to focus on that. You need to focus on your heart, Pisces. And uh, normally Pisces do that anyway. But, so it's a good time to... Um, start your own business, to create something new, to be very creative, to, do, to start to express yourself in your own unique way. Children, um, uh, getting children, or if you want that, of course, um, and if you have the age, 
Um, then another thing of the fifth house is love, love and romance. If you're saying, oh my goodness, when will he or she come? Um, you know, it could be that you meet someone that is very destined for you because that's the North Node. It has to do with faith and that, that you will start this romance. It is super, super supportive because it's in Cancer. Cancer is a very supportive sign. So there are good things happening for the Pisces and especially because Pisces had, of course, Saturn um, transits a couple of years in a row and also Saturn squaring Neptune. That was all hard. But it seems for the mutable signs, and you're one of them, that things are shifting now. So the only thing is those days where things get a bit weird. But again, for a Piscean, I mean, that's nothing strange for a Piscean. Um, uh, yeah, it's nothing strange for a Piscean because a Piscean can deal with that. They can deal with those insecurities. I mean, it's it's uh, they're used to that. They're used to to not know always. Uh, everything and to not know to not have that clarity and how to get the most out of that so um it's it's a it's a shifting energy it's a more uplifting energy for november um, and that will con continue even for um, the month after that even a better month in my humble opinion having said that thank you so much for watching i wish you all the best and uh, if you want to have a reading get in touch bye bye pisces